High School Sports Extra, Saturday at 1035. From Green Bay, the Fox Cities and the Lakeshore, this is CBS 5 News Special Edition. Good morning. Welcome to this early edition of CBS 5 News. We'll be joining CBS coverage of the NCAA tournament in about 10 minutes. The first game up today is our very own Wisconsin Badgers. They'll take on the Arizona Wildcats in Philadelphia for a preview of the game. And we're joined by Larry McCarran with more. Chris and Lisa, we are closing in on tip-off here at the Wachovia Center, but we do have time for a quick scouting report on the Arizona Wildcats. We saw them go through a light walkthrough type practice yesterday, but they won't be walking today. The Wildcats will push the ball up the floor and push it hard. A lot of times when you play teams like this, you, you get caught up. You, you get caught up in the moment. You, you don't realize what, you know, sticking to the game plan. You know, and, and their team that in transition, they can really hurt you. And if we try to run with this team, we'll get blew out the gym. Arizona also excels at forcing turnovers. Opponents average 19 and a half a game, and the Wildcats average almost 10 steals a contest. We're used to teams, you know, trying to do that. Um, and still, you know, we, I think we let our conference in, you know, the least amount of turnovers at like 11 a game. And so as long as we're being strong with the ball and, uh, you know, meeting our passes and not trying to force anything, we'll be fine. Sounds like a plan. And we'll see if the Badgers are up to executing it shortly. Chris and Lisa, back to you. Okay, thanks, Larry. In the news this morning, authorities in Manitowoc County are investigating a body that washed up on the Lake Michigan shore this morning. The body of 46-year-old man was discovered near the Point Beach nuclear power plant by plant personnel that was between 8 and 8.30 this morning. The man is believed to be from the area, and the Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department says it's too early to say if foul play is suspected. It's a big day in court for Stephen Avery. His lawyer will push for the dismissal of new charges that he faces in the rape, murder, and mutilation of Teresa Halbach. Avery's lawyer, Dean Strang, filed a motion in Manitowoc County Court opposing the new charges of first-degree sexual assault, kidnapping, and false imprisonment. His lawyer says those charges are based on the statements of Avery's 16-year-old nephew, Brendan Dassey, who's now charged with being party to the crimes. According to Strang, those alleged statements are unreliable and inadmissible against his client. Dassey's also scheduled to be in court himself today for a status conference in this case. Westbound State Highway 29 in Shano County remains closed at this hour after a fuel tanker crashed and exploded. It all happened around 3.40 this morning at the intersection of Highway 29 and 45 in Wittenberg. The tanker, which was carrying 8,700 gallons of gas, was headed west on 29 when it hit a guardrail, jackknifed into the median, and exploded. The driver, a 35-year-old Rothschild man, was able to escape with non-life-threatening injuries. Well, plastic surgery makeovers can cost a pretty penny, but how about a million dollar makeover? Some plastic surgeons are now offering that. Renowned cosmetic surgeon Dr. Steven Greenberg says this day and age of extreme makeovers, people know exactly what they want when they come to see him. And for the first time, he has started offering the million dollar makeover package. It includes several plastic surgeries from head to toe, recuperating at fine hotels, and more. It makes somebody over from head to toe not only in cosmetic surgery, but includes uh, personal trainers, nutritionists, complete wardrobe uh, redos, and everything that you can possibly imagine to change somebody's life. Surprise, surprise, there haven't been any, take any takers yet, that is, but Greenberg says his office is ready. Well, stay with us. Storm Team 5's Dave Miller is in next with a look at your St. Patty's Day forecast. Taco John's presents Whiplash in Sirloin Serenade. That sure was pretty Whiplash. Play another song about steak. It's something about our new steak items, like the steak and potato burrito, packed with grilled sirloin, tangy nacho cheese, and crisp potato olays. Shoot, it almost sings itself. Dang, that monkey sure can play. Try a steak and potato burrito and enter Taco John's new Whip It Game giveaway. Saving you up to 60% on cooling costs, you'd think I deserve a little gratitude. Yuck! The Carrier Infinity System is the most energy efficient system you can buy. And now save more with up to a $1,100 rebate. Can I hear it for low energy bills? 
Hey, thanks. Thanks a lot. Carrier. Turn to the experts. Turn to the experts at Shell Stripping and Mechanical, serving the Lakeshore area. Your carrier experts in the O'Connell area are LeBrack and Sun Heating and Cooling. Kids, try to win a savings bond at the Great Paper Airplane Toss at the Lambeau Field Atrium on March 18th. CBS 5, your exclusive home for the NCAA basketball tournament. Here's Friday's lineup for the first round of games. The Stone Toad Bar and Grill is one of the area's newest and exciting sports bars. With a capacity of 450 people, they are set up to handle all of your event needs. For more d'oeuvres and pizza to steak and seafood, the Stone Toad's daily specials start at 11 a.m. with a steak and seafood menu on Thursday and Friday. Don't miss Sunday dinner buffet for only $9.95. Watch your favorite sporting events on one of the many televisions or enjoy a game of pool or darts while you enjoy a frosted pint. Happy hour, Monday through Thursday from 3 to 6 at the Stone Toad Bar and Grill, 1109 South Oneida Street, Menasha. Top of the morning to you. Well, well with the sunshine that we have out there, thanks to some very dry, high pressure forcing its way out of Canada and into the Great Lakes, and kind of on the heels of the storm system that uh, dumped a lot of snow across northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin, that has all moved to the south and east. You can still see some bands of lake effect snows up around the North Shore locations of the Upper Peninsula. Everybody else generally pretty quiet and lots of sunshine out there. We've got a few clouds along the lake shore, and this will we look from our Appleton camera. Temperature is now in Green Bay at 32 degrees, 30 in Appleton. Sort of a breezy north-northwesterly wind, but the wind should die down a little later on the night. And that's giving us rather chilly wind chill factors up there. Most temperatures 20s to the north and low 30s down to the south with our wind chills in the teens to the north and mostly teens to low 20s around our area. Lots of sunshine, but again, a chilly day with temperatures holding fairly steady in the low to mid 30s and a north wind, which will be starting out kind of breezy. Those winds will die down a little bit for tonight as we look for clear and cold conditions. Inland locations are going to drop back down to the single digits. Otherwise, we'll look for overnight lows down to the low teens, especially along the lakeshore. Then for tomorrow, look for temperatures once again in the low 30s with lots of sunshine. It looks like fairly quiet weather all the way through the weekend into the first half of next week. We do see a few clouds here and there on Monday. We may see a few flurries late in the day on Thursday in uh, breezy conditions, but otherwise temperatures very, very slowly inch up into the upper 30s as we approach the latter part of next week and overnight lows in the teens. Because spring starts next week, right? Uh, on Monday, yes it oh, does. Oh, on Monday. Monday afternoon. Okay, and you look very Irish. Today, Dave Thank o. You. Miller. Well, it wasn't Miller. It was Kid, <laughs> but that's okay. It's close. <laughs> All right, thanks, All right. Dave. Thanks for watching this special edition of CBS 5 News. March Madness is next with the Badgers, and we'll see you back here at 5. Have a good afternoon. Thank you for choosing CBS 5 News. Remember, CBS 5 is always on WFRV.com.